welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see from the title, we have another Zara Jo Malone collaboration. She has just been knocking in them out, out of the park, every couple of months it seems. Um, and I'm having a fun time keeping up, but a harder time keeping up because I keep worrying that it won't get released here or that it'll just be in another country and then I'll be worried. So. This was like this mommy and me or something collaboration. Um, it's like a child's fra fragrance-ish and then like a, the mother's fragrance. And so you can buy them separately or you can buy them in the set and it's a little bit less expensive. Um, so I bought them in the set, as you can see, and I'm very excited for this, but I'm also extremely worried because they're... <laughs> There really aren't that many notes and there also aren't that many reviews at all. Um, so there's a bit of a risk. So with these two now, I've officially caught up with all her releases, um, Jo Malone with Zara, except for Bergamot and Leather Spritz. Um, I've talked about it on my YouTube like community tab. I've talked about it on my Instagram. I'm mentioning it in a video just in case one of you has it and doesn't like it or wants to sell it or what have you. I am on the hunt. It is the only one that I am missing and I'd really like to have it in my life. It's like sold out everywhere. It's a little bit older now because she's released, I think, two collections after that. No, three, maybe four. Um, because it's from this summer and then she had the floral collection and then she had this autumn one and then like this kids one and now this. So anyways, it's been a while. I've been on the hunt. I literally can't find it in anywhere. Um, and I think it will be the only one I'm missing unless a miracle comes my way. But I was wondering about this because it had already been released in Europe, I believe. Um, you guys have had it for a little bit longer, but now it is here to the North American market. So if you get the set, this is what it looks like. Very pretty. And the like mom fragrance comes in the 90 ml and it's an eau de parfum. And the baby or the child fragrance um, comes in a 40 ml and it's an eau de cologne. I love the 40 ml bottles. I mentioned that before. I feel like they're the perfect size and look in their spray. Like I love them, but these are just how they come and we'll see how, what we think. So the little quote thing that she always has is when your baby is placed into your arms for the first time, there's an amazing connection. A lullaby is so, something so intimate between a mother and her baby and the soothing voice of their mother makes a baby feel safe and secure. A lullaby is all about musical notes and fragrance is all about fragrant notes and the different accords, which is very sweet. And the larger fragrance is called the Golden Lullaby and the little one is called Le Petit Lullaby, which makes total sense. So they actually each only list two or three notes. We'll start with, and two out of the three notes are the same. So the Golden Lullaby lists Ambrox, Pear, and Musk. And when we get to the little one, it just has Pear and Musk, apparently. I'm pretty sure Ambrox is the note that I can't smell. Um, I, I did read one person say that they, one of these fragrances, they couldn't smell it at all. And I'm very worried that will have happened to me. That will be certainly the most disappointing um, fragrance, obviously, that I will have tried from Jo Malone and Zara if I can't even smell it. But let's get into it. We will smell the Golden Lullaby first. Oh, okay. I can smell it. Thank God. Right from the, right from the beginning, we're already on a good track. I don't know if I get pear though. I don't get any pear. It's very light. There, there's like a, um, a slight like citrusy freshness to it and musk. I can already tell probably both, but definitely this one is a fragrance that sits very close to the skin. And I don't, I suspect won't, it won't have a lot of sillage. 
and I won't be really out there in terms of like lasting power, but I'm totally guessing. It does smell clean. I was expecting exactly what I'm smelling, which is good. Um, I'm not surprised in a good way, but I'm also not disappointed, obviously in a bad way. It just smells fresh and slightly citrusy and slightly musky and very close to the skin. No pear from what I can smell, but I do imagine this will be the kind of scent that smells a bit different or even more so different on different people's skin with their body chemistry and just what their nose can pick up because of the Ambrox. I do like it though and it's not a disappointment so that's already starting off on the right foot. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so that's the Golden Lullaby. Now we'll move swiftly along. This one, like I mentioned, it's an Eau de Parfum and it has the black cap in the 90 mil. The little one is called Le Petit Lullaby and it's in the 40 mils, which I just really prefer these 40 mil bottles. I think they're so cute. I think they're like the perfect size. I wish all of hers are collaboration fragrances came in this size, but you guys know this is like my favorite um, I guess you call it like high street or just like normal store and fragrance collaboration ever. Um, like perfumer and high street store because I think, I, I don't know, something just like clicked with me. And I don't even, I'm not even like a huge Jo Malone, like her regular line fragrance buyer. I do like a lot of their scents, but I'm not, you know, I wasn't like deeply into that, but I have no idea what this collaboration has done to my mind, but it's consumed me. So I have like so many ideas for it too, that like no one's even asked, but I can't help myself. So this is Le Petit Lullaby, like I mentioned, the 40 mil and it has the white cap. This one just listed pear and musk. I can't remember which one people said they had a hard time smelling, but I could smell the Grand Lullaby at least. Um, so this one I'll have to smell. And I'm wondering because this one is a bit, I'm wondering if this is alcohol free. I'm really not sure. It probably isn't, but there's like a slight, hmm. Oh no, there is alcohol in it. I was wondering if it was alcohol free the way the like baby or child fragrances sometimes are, but this one definitely. Oh, okay. This is definitely the one people can't smell. I feel like I'm having to choke myself out to smell anything. There is the most, and when I say the most, there's the most faint whisper of maybe pear or maybe musk, but my goodness, does this smell like water? Like it smells like nothing. I'm gonna actually go crazy and spray maybe six sprays and see what I can get. Yeah, so as I suspected, this smells close to nothing. <laughs> um, it's also kind of like bubbling up way more than I expected. Like when I move this one, it doesn't foam up. Do you see, do you guys see that? Hopefully you do. Like obviously there's a couple of bubbles and then they go away. This one is like almost as if it's soapy. Like it's very confusing to me. That's why I thought maybe it was alcohol free, but the bubbles don't even go away as quickly. Like all the bubbles here are gone. This one is still foamed at the top. I have no idea what's going on with this. It is almost not there. And like, maybe it's because it's a, supposed to be a baby perfume. It's also quite like moisturizing and tacky when you spray it. Not just, you know, like this side is just the way perfume smell, like perfume feels on the skin. If anything, like nothing, a slight oiliness, which great. But this one is like, Sometimes if you use a cleanser, for example, and if you don't like wash it all the way off, how it would feel on your skin, that's the way it feels. 
I don't know. That's the way it feels, and I feel like it has more of a feeling to it than it has a scent, which is a weird thing for a fragrance. I'm very thrown. If I had to put a percentage to the scent that exists in this, I would put it between one and two percent. Um, because I'm gonna smell like my skin here that has nothing. Okay, I smell absolutely nothing. And then I'll smell this and it has between one to two percent, leaning more towards one of a scent. Um, with that being said, I'm obviously happy I tried them both out and they came in the set. But unless you are getting this for your actual baby, which I wouldn't even necessarily, I mean, do what you want with your baby, but like, does the baby need perfume? No. I can't imagine recommending this to someone because it doesn't have a smell. Um, I really would love to know in the comments if you end up trying it, either in a store, if you end up buying it, if you can smell something, because it may just be me. Like I also can barely get a scent out of Not A Perfume by Juliet Has A Gun, and some people love it. Um, I don't know if this will be the case because this didn't seem to be like a molecule type fragrance. Um, it just had pear and musk, and there's definitely something like soapy in it, which is slightly freaking me out. Um, but yeah, it feels a bit tacky in the way that this doesn't. Like this is so smooth. It's got like the very slight oiliness that you might get after you spray a perfume down, but basically nothing. And this, I don't even know. And now like my chest because I sprayed it is tacky and I'm so confused. It, I'm just smelling nothing, but this one definitely has a scent and I'm actually really liking it. Like the more I smell it, maybe because I was so disappointed and confused about this, but it's really nice. It's really just like fresh and clean and I can certainly see myself wearing this like after a shower. I think it's like a beautiful after shower scent, especially if you're going to bed right after your shower. So yeah, that was the lullaby range, the golden lullaby and the petite lullaby. As always, I love to hear from you guys. I really want to know what you guys think about these fragrances and if you tried them out and if this is interesting to you and if you'd like to try them out. I'm especially intrigued obviously about the Petit Lullaby because I'm confused and there's still foam like bubbles at the top. It's I'm bewildered. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short but weird video and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.